Hello and uh, welcome to today's uh, quick uh, video how to create attribute qualification filters in MicroStrategy. Attribute qualifications are uh, filters that are based on attributes or dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and right click and create a new filter in our filter area or you can create it anywhere you want. The first thing I want to do is double click here and choose the first filtering option attribute qualification and I'm gonna browse let's do a filter based on time uh, let's double click here okay let's do time and let's select let's have the filter filter for a specific year and let's see let's keep the qualify on elements and see which filter here do which year do we want let's just do something simple let's keep 2008 here okay so we're filtering on one year year in list 2008 save and close okay and we'll call it year equals 2008 this is my first filter notice the filter has this symbol right next to it Let's create another filter, but this time we're going to create an attribute filter, qualification filter, that is prompted. Similar thing, add a qualification, attribute qualification. Let's go to the time. Let me do something by month. So we filtered the year, but now we want to do something on the month level. Month, but I want to prompt the user to select which month they want. Do I want to list all months? Let's see what that does for us, okay? Let's see what that does for us. Let's just say we're only going to let them select one month. One month. So how do I fill, limit that? I enable the maximum to be just one, and I'm going to force them to answer, meaning that if they do not answer, they not, can't run the report. So that's what this does. Do I want to have a default? Probably not for something like month, but you might want sometimes. So save and close. We're going to call this month is the user's choice or is selection by user. Give it something, a more clear name. So we have two filters. Let's go ahead and create a report and use them and see how they interact. One is prompted, one filter, the month is prompted, the year is static. So where did my filters go? Well, I saved them in the public objects filters. Here they are. So I'm going to right click and add to report filter. Right click, add to report filter. But now we need a report, we need to build a report. Let's just do something simple. Let us put the day, just call it day. Let's see what this does for us. We're not going to use any metrics here. We're just demonstrating the power of the filter. Go ahead and run it. Okay, so here we go. I have all the months. So let's say you go ahead and select February 2009. You're already seeing a problem here. Let me know. Right? That's what you're thinking. Okay, so no data returned. What did I do? Well, let's see. How do I review this as a developer? Let me look at the SQL. Well, I'm looking up for days where the year is 2008, but the month is 2009-02. So here is a problem. We have a year and a month that do not intersect. Okay, so if you noticed, we created this problem by design because we filtered 2008 and we selected a month. So you're wondering, okay, well, how can I prevent the, the user from making this mistake? Okay, let's save this report and close it. And let's save it as my month filter. Okay. For simplicity, I'm just going to keep prompted and not change any defaults. That's the typical savings uh, 
or saving uh, option. So here's my filter, my month, report, and my year. Let's go and edit this prompted filter. Double click, edit the prompt, month. Okay, see so list all elements, no restriction, meaning every value for month is going to be returned from the database. But remember, we have a conflict. We only wanted 2008. So let's filter this by 2008. Year 2008 is the same filter we used. We created this already. I'm just going to select it and choose one month from 2008 just to get some clarity. We still want it to be one month. So I'm going to make this one and we want it required. Remember, we already had set these, but every time you edit, and you modify something in the filter like adding a list or adding a filter in the prompt it'll reset so you gotta be careful about that finish you're done okay save and close let's run my report uh-huh now I only have these filters so here we go let's select one month and boom run it here we go we got all the days for July 2008, just like we selected. Let's look at the SQL. Look at the SQL view. Boom, there you go. Now you say, okay, well, it's redundant. I have 2008, I have month 2008.07. Yep. Now you're going to say, okay, I really don't need this filter. I only need this one because this one has an embedded filter pointing to 2008. Right click, remove, yes. And there you go. Let's run this again and look at it. Simple, select the date where the month ID is 2008.07. And again, the prompt only has the month that we want in 2008 or the months that we want.